Hello everyone, it's Matt Delisle. Today again, uh, Friday webinar. Uh, we have, I, I, I have with me Lauren, um, who's going to help me answer questions. Uh, say hi, Lauren. Hey everyone. Good, so just a couple things uh, right before we start. Uh, if you wanna ask a question, you can use your microphone. It's in the uh, upper left corner of your console. Uh, just make sure it's green uh, before uh, speaking out. Uh, you can also, if you don't have a microphone or if you're if you're shy, you can use the chat portion of the to simply type your question. And like I said, Lauren will uh, will either answer the question or uh, voice it out uh, to myself. Uh, if you're not a customer of Uniform, uh, you can also check the handouts portion of the screen. I've put a uh, flyer in there so you can simply click on it to download. Uh, it will give you a, a bunch of information about the Uniform software. And last thing, uh, this webinar is being recorded. So uh, it will be made available next week uh, on Monday uh, and you will be receiving a, uh, an email with uh, the link uh, leading to it. <clears throat> All right, so today, CalGrades, a uh, very interesting subject, a very uh, neat report in uniform. Uh, so we're going to start by going in an animal record here. Uh, so if you've noticed before, animal records always have the cow grades in the upper right corner. And as you can see, uh, so we've got 7.4 uh for for this animal and this is actually a grade uh out of 10 okay so 10 being the best and one uh being the worst and this cal grade is also available in your uh mobile app okay so every time you synchronize uh the cal grades will also synchronize so we're going to take a look uh where do these cal grades come from and how they're calculated. So first, uh, to find you, your cow grades analysis, you just need to go under the cow head and economics and then number 14, cow grade. So you're gonna end up with a uh, pretty busy screen here, uh, lots of numbers. Uh, it's quite easy to understand though. Uh, so as you can see <clears throat> on the left side of the the black line, uh, you can find all your animals, uh, you know, by number, names, uh, with the status, lactation, days in milk, and you also get the overall cow grade right here. Okay, so as you can see, I've sorted my cows uh, by uh, the best all the way down to the worst. Uh, you can also change the uh, sorting just by clicking on the header like this. So now I have my worst cows at the top. And you can do the same with management numbers uh, again. Okay, so we're just going to leave it uh, sorted by grade. So essentially, cow grade is a measure that tells you how likely is that cow to remain in your herd? Okay, so uh, if you get a cow with a cow grade of four, uh, she's very likely to be, you know, out of the herd soon based on a bunch of KPIs. KPIs that you can find to the right of this black line here. So we see we have a dozen of them. Um, and all of these KPIs have a, a grade uh, on their own. So as you can see, SPP is based on the current lactation and previous lactation. If you don't know what SPP is or standard peak production, uh, we, <clears throat> we have made a uh, webinar available about this uh, last week, so you can find it on the, on the website. And then you, you have measures like a number of lactations of that animal, uh, calving interval, protein, fat, uh, average breedings, SCC or mastitis. And all of these KPIs get rated. Uh, the one thing 
uh, I'd like to point out first is your filter uh, to the right. So as you can see, you can you can filter by lactation number and also by uh, repro status. Properties, if we click there, uh, you go to advanced, you see that you can um, add or remove some items from the, the animal's uh, portion of it. So right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it as is. <clears throat> and then in, under settings, very important to take a look at this before you start utilizing uh, CalGrade. Um, because as you can see here, uh, this is where you're gonna set all your targets for uh, CalGrades. So what's a good, what's the value I'm looking for uh, with regards to SPP? Uh, you know, I, I, am I looking uh, for longevity on, on my herd? Uh, how many lactations am, am I aiming for? Uh, calving interval, fat protein, uh, somatic cell counts, everything is there. And of course, uh, you know, you, you may have Holsteins, you may have jerseys, uh, you, you may have different breeds that obviously uh, won't have the same uh, targets uh, based on that. So make sure you adjust them according to uh, what's in your herd. That's the first step. <clears throat> and then if you go under weights, you'll see that it's possible to, uh, to adjust those KPIs uh, with a weighing factor. So of course, if I, by default, everything is set to normal. If I'm looking to focus a little bit more on my calving interval or my SPP, uh, I'm going to move my dot to a higher level. So what's that gonna do is that any cows that has great SPP is going to have an overall cow grade that's a lot, that's a bit higher uh, than uh, than normal, and a cow that has a, a very weak SPP uh, will be uh, disadvantaged uh, based on that if uh, if you set it to high. So make sure you set them accordingly uh, to what you're looking for. And I'm just going to show uh, another thing here. Uh, so of course, when you look at uh, the uh, the grades to the right, uh, you see that it's a uh, grade out of 10 once again. But if you click on the plus sign, it will show you on the on the bottom line here. You see it creates an additional line just below, and it actually gives you the values of those KPIs that are leading to this grade or to these grades uh, at the, the top, on the top line, okay? <clears throat> so if, uh, if I'm showing you a, a few examples here, uh, let's go to, um, I'm just gonna open uh, my uh, animal record and go to cow 870. So it's a dry cow. Uh, just gonna go under lactation. Uh, you see that uh, her 305s, uh, they've they're they're always been great. Uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, if I go under <clears throat> milk recording, uh, what you wanna check here is to make sure that you capture all lactations. So, you know, all milk recordings from every lactations. And you see that she has a tendency to have, you know, very high uh, SCC count, okay? Um, so we're gonna keep that in mind. And if we go back to the cow grade uh, analysis at the bottom here, I'm just gonna sort my cows by management number and I'll find my cow 870. Okay, so as we can see, I'll just click the, the plus sign. Remember SCC were an issue? Well, you got it right here. Like she, she's getting a score of 2.9 uh, out of 10 for current lactation, because she's standing at, at 407, and then 4.3 for the previous lactation. Okay, she, 
She's not uh, she's not too great for protein uh, calving interval neater. Uh, so see, overall she gets a score of uh, six point one out of ten. Uh, if we look at another cow, let's take uh, one nineteen. <clears throat> Okay, so it's a fresh cow. She uh, she milks uh, uh, 29 kilos. Uh, fat protein looks uh, quite all right. Uh, very good. In fact, if we go under lactation, you see that you know she she's had good lactations in the past with good 305s, but for this lactation, it it seems to be on the downside a little bit. Like she's not even at at 10,000. Okay, so let's just uh, again uh, keep that in mind. <clears throat> and then the milk recording again, make sure you capture all the lactations. And as you can see, uh, nothing to worry about here. So then I'm going to go check. 119 in my list should be somewhere on the top right here and as we can see production level for current lactation is not that great so spp is at 4.2 out of 10. And if i click again uh, the plus sign we see that you know 34 uh, kilos spp isn't that great unfortunately you see past lactation she was at, at 61 kilos that's great uh you know she 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 also struggles with uh you know the last calving interval is a bit high and uh, but the rest seems uh quite all right okay and she gets a uh, 7.3 out of 10. uh another animal that i'd like to point out is uh 394 <clears throat> Okay, so she uh, she was bred uh, 44 kilos, uh, you know, fat, fat and protein uh, looks uh, quite all right. Um, lactation is all right too, like she gets uh, 10,500 kilos, 305. If we look at uh, milk recordings, you know, she's had a little bit of an issue here um, in the second last uh, milk recording but she's uh she's on the the way to recovery uh so things look good and then on the repro side again i'm going to capture all lactations and you see here she's had a lot of issues uh in the previous lactations to get pregnant so we see one two three four five six uh six breedings uh to get her uh pregnant so that of course uh, we're not uh, we're not hoping for that. So that she's going to get uh, graded accordingly on my report. So if I if I scroll down to 394, should be around here. 394. So see, uh, overall grade is uh, 7.3, and uh, as uh, as you can see, if we go on the uh, average breedings uh, she gets seven breedings average to get pregnant so that that gives her uh, a grade of only one out of ten um, one more thing about cow grades is obviously it, it helps you uh, capture a lot of information at the same time and sort uh, cows uh, cows uh, based on that but you can also use the list if you if I'm going back under settings and then under weights. I could also use this list, uh, you know, for, for the purpose of just looking at, uh, let's say, um, how about SCC current lactation? OK, so in uh, previous lactation. So everything else. I will ignore. just like this and then i'm gonna hit okay and as you can see all my grades have changed because only grades 
based on SCC are now taken into account. Okay, so that, that's a quick way of looking in your herd for SCC issues. Very quick. And then you just set it back to the way it was. Lauren, do we have any questions so far? We don't have any questions so far. I, I have a question for you though. Go ahead. If I was looking to find potential cows to be culled, is there a way I could use this report? Absolutely. Good, uh, very good point. Um, so under properties, you see there's a minimum grade for breeding and also uh, call all animals with grade under and a value there. So if I choose, um, you know, I, I, I'll just put a five here. And uh, I'll, I'll say that, uh, you know, for breeding a cow, um, you know, I'm looking for 7.5 at least. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I save my settings. And then this is actually the uh, color code that you're looking at here. So if I'm if I'm filtering here in the upper right corner, if I'm filtering on calling like this, you see that I get uh, my cows that are below uh, what I, I set previously, uh, sorry, under properties. So under five, and since I've, uh, I, I, sorry, I gotta put back my uh, my settings to normal here, just like this, and I, I end up with a list with uh, my cows under uh, five, but that will take account of the the repro uh, portion of it. So that's why you see cows uh, that. Uh, are 8.1 uh, overall, but if you look at you know average uh, uh, breedings or uh, last inseminations, they, they don't have a value there or are weak. So that's the reason uh, for that. Same for breedings. So it will take account of the value that I set there uh, to build my list. So everything over uh, 7.5 uh, will be put on the list here. Does that make sense? Sounds good. All right. Do we have any questions? I don't see any questions. Good. Well, then uh, I'm done. And uh, again, if you, uh, you have any questions about the cow grades, uh, make sure you call the help desk. Uh, they they all know about uh, this uh, neat analysis, and uh, phone number is one uh, eight six six eight zero seven six one one one. And uh, like I said uh, before we started, uh, this recording will be made available on our website next Monday afternoon. Uh, so make sure you uh, you check it out. Thanks everyone. Have a good weekend.